these people in Malawi are queuing up to try on glasses that they can adjust themselves to suit their own eyesight. This means there's no need to see an optician. And if their sight changes, they can just readjust the lenses again. The invention was developed in this house in England. Here in Oxford, under typical British reign, we're about to enter the house of an inventor who has revolutionized the world of glasses. Hello, come in, come in, follow me. Sixty-five-year-old Joshua Silver is a professor of physics at Oxford University. He spent years working on manufacturing adjustable lenses, mainly aimed at people in poor countries who have limited or no access to expensive optical equipment and healthcare professionals. You have lenses just like in ordinary eyeglasses, but these lenses are a bit different. They actually, you can pump a fluid into them and they have um, thin plastic surfaces and as you pump fluid in or out of the lens, the curvature of the lens changes and so the power changes. And so when you look through it, you can effectively tune it until you can see clearly. Silver developed the first lenses in 1985 after he created a variable focus lens out of curiosity. The glasses evolved through various different, increasingly sophisticated designs. With, with this current generation of eyeglasses, the lens is around. However, um, that, that makes them, not everyone wants to wear round eyeglasses. But you can envisage developments which will lead to um, non-round um, variable power eyeglasses. And this is an example of the sort of frame that we're looking at. For his achievement, Professor Silver is one of the nominees for the European Inventor Award in 2011, organised by the European Patent Office. The person wearing the glasses has to test the lenses by covering up each eye in turn and reading an eyesight chart. When the optimal vision has been reached, you can remove the two little pumps. However, the glasses can only magnify things. They're not suitable for people with other sight problems. Professor, what does it mean for you to have invented such a technology? It's a very strange feeling because you start with an idea and it's just a little idea and then uh, over time you end up with something out there in the world that people are using. That's a very strange feeling. It's a good feeling. What do you think the future is for this technology? I, I don't like to sound arrogant but I think this could be quite an important technology. The point is there's a, billions of people in the world who can't see clearly and I think this technology gives you a route to deal with that problem. Some 30,000 pairs of Silver's glasses are already in use around the world. He hopes to reduce the cost to a dollar a pair. At the moment they cost about $19 and distribute 100 million pairs a year.